Hi everyone, my name is Evangeline and in this video I'm going to be showing you this gorgeous holiday makeup look. I'm priming my skin with the Givenchy Active Min Color Correcting Primer in Strawberry and I'm pressing that onto my skin. Then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. This foundation is in the middle. It's not dewy, it's not matte, it's just very, very skin-like and it gives a great coverage to the skin. Then I'm tightlining my eyes with the Clarins 3 Dot Liner just to give some definition at the base of my eyelashes. After that, I'm going in with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner, and I'm using sort of one that is a mini travel size. Mini travel size eyeliners are great because it means you can get super close to the lashes and get a perfect line. So I'm just creating a really, really thin line around my eye. Then I'm mixing a bit of the ColourPop eyeshadow in Get Lucky with some Ila Masca Mixing Medium and applying that as an eyeliner. What I'm doing is I'm creating a line that is close to that black line and that we've already applied and then I'm just winging it out a little bit at the outer corner of the eye as well just to give a really beautiful glamorous effect to the eyes. Next up I'm taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Cowboy and I'm going directly over that eyeliner to give the eyes a bit of glitter, a bit of sparkle and a bit of badazz. So now I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Chocolate Eye Palette and I'm just taking the lighter shade and applying that over my eyelid to prevent the eyeliner from transferring. Then I'm taking a dark brown just to give my crease a little bit of definition and I'm applying that very sparingly. Next I'm taking the lighter brown shade and using that along my lower lash line to give a bit of shadow and definition. Then I'm using the Bobbi Brown Extreme Party Mascara to give my lashes a bit of definition, a bit of lift and a bit of colour. Now for the brows I'm using the Ardell Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. I'm just brushing up my eyebrows and then I'm applying this brow pomade in really light feathering strokes to give my brows some texture, some definition and a little bit more fullness. Then I'm concealing my imperfections with the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer and I'm just applying that underneath the eyes and blending it out to give a really beautiful seamless effect. This concealer can be used all over the face which is something I love about it especially given that it's a drugstore product. So I'm also using that to conceal any redness, any blemishes or anything that I've got. When it's concealing blemishes I like to just apply a little bit to the area and then very gently pat it in with the side of a fluffy synthetic brush. Now I'm going to contour with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Joy. I'm contouring underneath my cheekbones, around my jawline and around my hairline. And then tapping a bit of that highlight shade onto the tops of my cheekbones and on my cupid's bow. For blush, I'm using the MAC Mariah Carey Powder Blush in the shade Sweet Sweet Fantasy and I'm just sweeping that over my cheeks to give a beautiful glow. For highlight, I'm using the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips All-in-One Palette in the shade Natural. I'm applying that to the tops of my cheekbones and Cupid's bow. So this just gives a really beautiful highlight and it's really affordable as well, which is obviously amazing. Now for one of the best parts of the look, the lips. So for the lips, I'm using the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade 08 Grand Cru. And then that's just going to give the lips a really beautiful sort of holiday effect. They look really beautiful. I love these lip colors because they're matte and they're affordable and all in all, they're also very comfortable to wear. So you can definitely leave the look there if you prefer, but I'm going to add some falsies. So for falsies, I'm using the Ardell Glamour Lashes in the shade 135. I've just used them with some duo adhesive and let the lash glue become tacky before applying them onto my lash line with this eyelash applicator from Ulta. And then after I've applied them, I'm just pinching them together so they look seamless. And then of course the other eye as well. These lashes are quite natural, but they also do give a little bit of drama, which I think is nice because it doesn't overpower the look. Now I'm just concealing that eyelash band with the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner again. And that is sort of the finished look with the lashes. Really beautiful, feminine, classy, and great for the holidays. Now, one step further, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Style Icon Number no. 3 palette, and I'm taking the darker shade in the Seductress 122 palette. And I'm just running that along the lower lash line just to give a sort of beautiful green foresty haze to the eye. Water lining with the Bourjois Contour Clubbing Waterproof Eye Pencil in the shade green. 
what this does is gives just a really beautiful definition to the eye and makes them look a lot more almond shape and it just takes the look the next level from being a standard sort of eyeliner with a bold and bright lip now I'm just going to remove the edge of that winged liner and then apply some more of that mascara to the lower lashes now as you can see that's sort of two looks in one really beautiful glamorous sophisticated great for the holidays for Christmas New Year's or whatever you prefer Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me on all of my social media networks and channels.